A new month is upon us and that means it is time for our monthly roundup of K-Beauty favorites. So give this video a big thumbs up because today I want to share with you guys the products that this month of April have really helped me bridge the gap between winter and springtime with my skin, transitioning from more drier skin to slightly more combination skin. Plus I want to give you guys an update on the products that I've emptied this month. <music> So the first product that I want to talk about is one that I have been raving about on Instagram. If you follow me, you probably already know what this product is, but this toner has really impressed me. Now before we go any further, you guys know toner is my absolute favorite skincare step. I don't know why. I think it's just because my skin does so well when I deeply hydrate it that I just know that toners are that product that just does it the best, so therefore it's my favorite. But without further ado, the Keep Cool and Soothe Toner. This is the bamboo toner from Keep Cool, and I love this stuff. Now, let me tell you, toners, even though I love them, they can be pretty boring. I mean, they're just hydrating water at the end of the day, right? At least the toners that I like to use are. And this is about 85% bamboo water, which is pretty intriguing, but it's definitely not like the most exciting thing on the block. I don't know exactly why this toner is so good because at the end of the day, it's just a watery toner, but this stuff just deep dives into your skin and it's like it deeply quenches your skin's thirst at a real deep level. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm trying to be as descriptive as possible because that's how much I love this stuff. It's just a watery toner at the end of the day, but there's just something special when you put it on your skin, you can feel that it's really making the difference. And in the springtime, my skin does lean a little bit more towards the dehydrated side. So I like to kind of like compensate for that and make sure that I have plenty of hydration in my routines. And this little baby came along at the right time. This is has just been a savior toner for me for my really thirsty skin. Now speaking of products that really help bridge the gap, I want to talk about an essence that has really helped me transition from my winter routine into my spring routine. Now in the winter, I am all about moisture, 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 because my skin gets very dry. And in the springtime, and then especially in the summer, it's all about hydration, water, 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 right? However, you know, kind of transitioning from the colder winter months to the spring months, it can get a little tricky kind of being in between. I feel like spring is an in-between season, especially when it comes to my skin. So bridging the gap between all that hydration and all that moisture, finding that right balance isn't always easy. But with this product, it hasn't been that hard. And I'm talking about the Oliverier Dual Moist Hyaluron Essence. Now this little baby, this is just that right mix between oil and water or hydration and moisture because of the ingredients. Now, Oliverier is actually a combination of two words, the words olive and barrier. And the olive, the, where they're getting the word olive from is their use of squalolane. Squalolane is derived from the olive. And squalolane is a beautifully moisturizing oil. And it's actually a really great oil for dehydrated skin types and also for those who suffer from barrier problems because it's high in, what is my favorite thing? High in linoleic acid, which is beautiful for your moisture barrier, beautiful for dehydrated skin. And in fact, it is a very good oil indeed for oily skin types because it's oil soluble. It can actually help um, control your sebum production over time. But I'm kind of describing this like it's an oil. It's got squalolane in it, but it's also got humectants. It's got a lot of hyaluronic acid in it, which means we've got that right balance between hydration and we've got that, that balance with the moisture. And that's why I really like this essence because it does both. It's lightweight, it attracts a lot of water to your skin with the humectants, but it starts to seal that in and make sure it doesn't escape your skin with the squalolane. It feels lightweight on the skin, it absorbs nicely, but it does start to feel a little bit more nourishing on the skin. Not greasy by any means, but just more nourishing on the skin. It just feels like it's really giving your skin that really nice balance. And the funny thing is, you know, we're almost, we're, we're at May, you know, right now that April is over. 
Historically speaking, in years past, my skin is very dehydrated and very clogged. Usually I have springtime uh, congestion and I just don't have that this year. And of course there are other products that have contributed to that, but I just kind of want to point out the fact that you can't deny that when you balance your oil and water on your skin, when your skin is just in the right balance, it's healthy, it's getting everything that it needs, it's going to just it's just going to react better to seasonal changes. It's just not going to, you know, swing up and down so much. It's not going to have crazy breakouts or redness or dryness or, you know, severely change and have like essentially mood swings. When you get your oil and water balanced down just right, which isn't easy, your skin just serves you better. And I just really feel like this product has made a difference in my skin because as I said, historically speaking, we should be looking at much more reactive skin than I have right now. And I'm just really happy to report I just don't have that. And I definitely have to thank a product like this one because this is really helping me keep that balance in check. Now, I love all kinds of masking. And in the wintertime, I lean a little bit more on wash off masks than I do sheet masks. But come the springtime and the summertime, you can find me 100% sheet masking a lot more than my wash offs. And one of the sheet masks that I have used this month that I actually like really just had a fun experience with is the Masquerade Sweet Retreat sheet mask. Now this is really fun because these are uh, what's considered a patch sheet mask. Now before you go, why would you want a patch sheet mask? Let me explain. So patch sheet masks are just, you know, different uh, sizes of a sheet mask that you can arrange for what they call like spot treatments. Now the thing about spot treating your face is like, well, why don't I just throw a whole sheet mask on? The issue with a whole sheet mask, sometimes some of us know is fit. You know, sheet masks are not made to fit every type of, of face. They do their best, but we all have our fit woes when it comes to sheet masks, right? And you're either folding or cutting or doing whatever you can to just kind of get it to just stay on your face and just do what it needs to do. And that's why I like patch sheet masks, not for the idea of spot treating certain areas, but the fact that you can customize fit. Now the masquerade, um, Sweet Retreat comes with 12 patches, so that was more than enough to cover my face. And I can customize the fit, which means that, you know, because there's smaller areas that you're covering, you can get it to fit your chin just right. You can get it to fit your nose just the way that you want it to. You know, it's not going to slip um, off of your chin and things like that. So I really appreciated the patch design. Maybe not for the reason that, that it's intended, but I just feel like it's a great way to get a customized fit. So I liked that. Second of all, how freaking cute are these masks? So the design on these are desserts and we've got little macarons, we've got like little strawberry shortcakes and cupcakes. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so fun. It's super whimsical. And I have to tell you, you know, when I do a sheet mask, it's usually like down to business. I'm slapping that sheet mask on my face. As much as I want to like relax when I wear a sheet mask, I'm usually on my computer or on my phone. And it's like I said, it's just very utilitarian. When you do a mask like this that's printed or it's um, it's a patch mask, so it's it's just different, it changes the experience. It, it kind of immerses you in the sheet mask a little bit more. Like I said, it's not just like slap it on and get down to business. You're having fun with it. Like you want to take selfies. Like it's just... It's silly to say I like a mask because I want to take a selfie in it, but it just changed the experience from let me get this sheet mask over and done with so I can treat my skin and it turned it more into I want to do this sheet mask so that it, it can be fun and girly and I can feel special and pretty. Um, like I said, it's, it's a very... It's probably a very hollow reason to like a sheet mask, but it was something that I hadn't experienced from a mask in a long time. It just made things fun and I appreciated that. Now Masquerade is a pretty cool brand. They're actually Canadian, they're not Korean. And I don't know about you, but a lot of Western brands that make sheet masks, those sheet masks aren't good. Just my personal opinion. I haven't tried a lot of great Western sheet masks. I have tried some, but they it feels more like a rarity to find a good Western sheet mask than it feels like it's, you know, just like the norm, especially how I feel when I try Japanese and Korean and Taiwanese sheet masks. So I was pleasantly surprised to find a Western sheet mask brand that actually really brought something to 
the table. Sunscreens, sunscreens, that's just the hardest thing to get right. I have been exploring a lot more sunscreens lately if for the purpose of creating more sunscreen reviews for this channel because I understand the struggle of sunscreen. It could be a lifelong quest to find just the right product for you. I get it because I've gone through it and once I found one sunscreen that worked for me, you guys, I literally repurchased it four years in a row. I did not deviate from that sunscreen ever until last year when I started to feel a little bit more adventurous and I came out of my sunscreen shell. And I'm glad I did because even though there have been some misses, there have actually been quite a few hits. Some sunscreens that I have discovered that I've absolutely loved. So anyways, in my quest to test a bunch of sunscreens, I've been testing a bunch of sunscreens. And one that I, well I have two for you, but one that I want to talk about first is not really what I would consider a sunscreen product, but it's more like a sunscreen bonus. <laughs> So I'm talking about the Thank You Farmer Sun Project Shimmer Sun Essence. Now I did talk about a Thank You Farmer sunscreen last month. I really did like that. If you're looking for a full coverage sunscreen, that is a great one to go towards. Now this um, Sun Project Shimmer Sun Essence is more of a makeup product. This only contains SPF 30 with a PA of plus uh, two. Now, not the best coverage, but not the worst coverage in my book, but I do generally for everyday use for a sunscreen, I like to see SPF 50 and a PA plus four. But like I said, this isn't really a, this isn't really a sunscreen. What this really is, is kind of a makeup base. So this can be used as your primer, tone up cream, uh, kind of like a highlighter. This has like a whole host of uses. Now this is a, a cream that is slightly tinged pink. So that's where we're gonna get the tone up effect from. But there's all these beautiful, like nano, tiny, tiny, tiny shimmer particles in it. And I would actually liken the shimmer to more of a pearlescent effect than a shimmer because in my mind, shimmer means glitter. And I can't stress enough that this is more pearly than it is glittery. It's actually a beautiful, gorgeous effect. Really just a very pretty kind of like glass skin type of appearance. And I actually use this as a primer on top of another sunscreen. The reason I want to highlight this is not just because it makes your, your makeup look dewy and highlighted and gorgeous like a like a magical subtle unicorn <laughs> who doesn't want to look like a unicorn no the reason why i really wanted to highlight this as a makeup product is because i love makeup products that have spf not because i rely on them for spf but because i rely on them for additional protection for peace of mind even though I use, um, you know, SPF 50, PA plus four separate sunscreen on my face, let's be honest, sometimes we apply our sunscreen really quickly and we miss spots or we don't apply enough. And I know most of us aren't sitting there every single day squeezing our sunscreen out onto a tablespoon to make sure that we're getting the right amount on our face. You know, it just there's always going to be user error involved. And that's why I like a product like this with a good amount of SPF in it because when I'm applying this over my other sunscreen as my makeup base, I know that if I missed an area, I probably covered it with this. If I didn't put quite enough on on a certain area, well, I just put some extra on that area by using this SPF makeup base. So that's really why I wanted to highlight that because now that, as I said, we're shifting more into spring and summer, that means the UV rays are actually getting stronger, which means that they can damage your skin more. You should be wearing SPF all year round and I absolutely do but you want to be a little bit more diligent when the UV rays are stronger in your area they're starting to ramp up here so something like this is just ideal now I do want to touch base on another sunscreen that is 100% a monthly favorite for me this is the Purito Centella Green Level Sunscreen this stuff has blown my mind now let me tell you I love 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 this sunscreen and a few of you have asked me on Instagram, is this like better than the Claire Soft Air UV Essence, which I have declared to be a holy grail sunscreen. And I don't know that I would say that it's better, but I would say it's just as good as it. It is a photo finish between these two. They are so similar. They have their differences for sure, but they're so similar in all the right ways 
that I absolutely, I mean, I absolutely love the Purito. I love the Claire's and I, I could wear them interchangeably because that's just how similar they are to me in my mind. And that means that this Purito really does perform for me. So the Purito is really thin, it's lightweight, zero white cast. Unlike the Claire's, this is more of a cream texture than a gel texture. Claire's is a little closer to a gel texture, but the Purito is a little bit more of a cream texture that doesn't have any type of uh, finish to it. It's not like a shiny finish or like a wet finish or anything like that. It just absorbs into the skin really quickly, dries down very quickly. No white cast. If you're familiar with the Purito Buffet Serum, it's got the exact same scent to it, which means one thing I don't like about this, that means we've got essential oils being used in here. And while there's always room for improvement, that doesn't mean that the sunscreen doesn't perform because it definitely does. And I haven't had any issues with my with my skin, but we do have some essential oils here that are um, kind of creating that sort of like fruity sort of scent to it. Anyways, besides the scent, that's the one thing that I would have to say is like not a good thing in my mind, but beyond the scent, it wears beautifully on the skin. It's long lasting. It's um, just a really comfortable sunscreen. It doesn't add any weight to your skin. It plays super well with other layers, with other makeup. It's really easy to reapply. So I'm in love with it. The price is really good too. It's a little bit less than the Claire's, which makes it super affordable. I actually got mine on Yolse. It was about $13, which is like that's the price I like to pay for sunscreen. So it's absolutely perfect. I am 100% going to be doing a full deep dive review on this coming up very, very shortly. Um, so stay tuned for that one. But I have just been reaching for this sunscreen every single day this month and empties. I don't have too many for you guys this month, just two, but they happen to be two very, very good ones. First up is the iUnique Propolis Vitamin Synergy Serum. I have a full dedicated review uh, to this product on my channel. So if you're interested to learn more about this, do not forget to check that one out. Um, but I just want to give you guys an update. I have finished the bottle on this one and I love this product. Now this is a high percentage of propolis. It's about 70% propolis, which is excellent. Propolis is is really appropriate for all skin types, but it's really great to help treat acne, inflammation, redness, and it can actually help brighten up your skin tone. It can help to fade hyperpigmentation. And that's really how I used this serum. Um, I really gauged the, um, the benefits and the effectiveness of this serum based on its ability to help brighten up my skin tone, and it did really help me to help fade hyperpigmentation. Now the key word in that statement was help because this is really a booster serum in my opinion. And having finished the entire bottle, I will stick by the statement that this is a booster product. Now what I mean by booster product is the fact that if you just use this and nothing else, you may not notice the biggest brightening effect by using this product alone. But in combination with other brightening ingredients, this can help speed up your results. This can help boost the results. Is it the star player? No. Is it the supporting character? Absolutely. Which makes it very important serum to have when you're looking for those types of benefits from Propolis. Propolis just has a whole host of benefits for the skin and we've also got a ton of antioxidants in this as well. So you can rest assured that not only are you going to get the brightening and the healthy skin tone, you're also going to be getting antioxidant protection by using this serum, which I absolutely love. So this is a really good value too. I mean, for 70% 70, uh, 70 Propolis, this is only about $17. Like that's such a good deal. You get a really good amount. So I will definitely be adding this one back into my routine in the future. Sad to see it go right now. But like I said, this is definitely worthy of coming back into the routine. And finally, the Claire's Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drops. I really like this. This is a really uh, good high concentration of peptides in this serum. It's pretty much peptides and not much else. And that is a good thing. You know, a lot of products will claim that they have peptides in them and they do but you'll find them all the way at the bottom of the list this is a high percentage of peptides about 93 percent pep peptides by weight there's only 12 ingredients and the two peptides are like the first ones listed so this is a really good high quality one if you're looking to add peptides into your routine and I definitely recommend that you do if you're in your mid to late 20s now is the time to start thinking about ingredients like peptides to help uh, reduce the 
uh, or prevent the signs of aging on your skin. Now, speaking of preventing aging, that's really what peptides do. They help to preserve the collagen structure underneath your skin. And that means we're going to be fighting things like um, elasticity loss, uh, wrinkles, things of that nature, skin thinning. So that is where peptides really do shine is to help prevent that damage. So if you're looking for like a visual benefit on top of your skin, you're probably not going to get a really big one. Now, when I was using this in my routine consistently, and that's really the key here, when I was using this consistently for like two months straight, that's when I noticed a difference on my skin. It was incredibly subtle. And it's really, I would liken it to the difference between, you know, when your skin is completely clear, you have no acne, no hyperpigmentation, no nothing. You can't complain about your skin, right? It's in good condition. But you know when your skin, how your skin looks when you didn't get enough rest. It just looks kind of worn out, even though you can't pinpoint why it doesn't look good. It just looks a little tired and worn out versus, you know, the night that you get a great night's rest. I would liken the, the change in my skin to that. It was like the change between getting a good night's rest and not a good night's rest. The change was, was like my skin was just looking more well rested, a little bit healthier, a little bit more revitalized not necessarily you know fine line changes or anything like that i think it just made my skin look more perked up um which i i that means that it was working so i really like this serum i highly recommend this if you're starting your anti-aging game this is a great serum to go towards don't look for huge like visual benefits on your skin but just know that you're giving your skin an ingredient that is going to do it good in the long run so i'm curious to know what is a skincare product that has made a really big impression on you lately let me know in the comment box below and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I release two new skincare videos every single week. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss out on the next time I upload the new video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I really hope you have a fantastic May. I will see you guys in the next video and we'll talk soon. Bye.